guys what's up welcome back to my channel my name is Terry and I'm a hairstylist based in Accra Ghana so in today's video I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to lay a 6x6 7x7 8x8 and most people call it mini frontals this is how the 6x6 closure looks and this is actually 12 inches of virgin Indian hair I got from my hair vendor These are also one inch markings that I use anytime I'm drawing guidelines while making a wig. And right here, I'm just showing the wrong way to place your wig cap on your mannequin when you're working with mini frontals or 6x6 closures. Turn your wig cap around and then place the top part of the wig cap on the nape, exactly on the nape of your wig head. I really hope you understand. But that's really the hardest part of this whole tutorial. Once you've passed this, you're done. You can even watch and follow and do exactly what I'm doing. It might help if you're not getting exactly what I'm saying. Once you're done, secure everything with your T-pins, any pins. I really couldn't find my T-pins today, so I just used regular round head pins. They do the trick. <laughs> but yeah, it should look exactly like this once you're done. So now place your closure exactly how you would whenever you are sewing your regular 4x4 closures. But to make it easier for me, what I like to do is to find the center of the closure by, by folding it into two equal halves and then sticking the pin through the middle and then tracing that center point on my mannequin head. From there, I use this as a guide to secure the remaining four points. You can make it six, but four points of the closure. Then sew your closure down snug. I like to use two C needles for this. So I usually start off by sewing the right side of the closure and securing it down. Then I move to the left side of the closure and I also secure that down. I sew the closure round going to the top and all around to meet up at the very top of the closure and then I tie everything up together. This just enables me or this just ensures that the closure is always, always, always flat.
From here, just snip off the excess wig cap and you're done. I'd really love to see your masterpieces and your creations on Instagram. So feel free to tag me. My link will be in the description box down below. So I did go ahead and bleach this closure completely blonde to create this beautiful 6x6 40 inch box braided wig shameless plug but this wig is now available on my website so if you're interested or if you know somebody who would be interested in purchasing please point them in the right direction i mean point them to my website at www.slatebyterry.com and you can also place your order i take custom orders for these it's a really long wig, it's 40 inches, but it can be customized to your exact specifications. So as usual, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll definitely be seeing you in my next video next week. But until then, bye!